All right, we found our way into the 5150 Energy Drink Yamaha team. These guys have been around for a little while now. They keep kind of expanding and growing. And uh, they got t Kyle Chisholm under the tent this year. I'm here with Craig Monty, who is team manager. Team manager. All right. So they've got a pretty interesting deal going on with the motor. It's a collaboration between a lot of different people. Uh, I know you've got uh, uh, DASA, Twisted Development. You've got some GYTR. Tell us a little bit about what goes into building this whole engine. Well, first you start off with a stock package, the Yamaha. 250F is a great package right off the bat. And then, uh, you know, we use the GYTR cams. Obviously, we recam them to, uh, to a race spec. We have our heads cut by DASA, which, you know, gives us a, uh, a better flowing valve job. And, uh, and then we do use uh, crank works for the cranks. We have them balanced and uh, polished for a little bit, reduce the friction. And then we also use DASA for the tumbling of all our transmissions. And then from there, once the motor is built, we uh, Jamie from Twisted helped us out with a little bit of mapping with Vortex ignition boxes. Yeah, so a lot of love, a lot of different moving parts and pieces in there, literally and figuratively. Uh, and the tumbling with the gears and everything in the tranny just takes off any imperfections and burrs, lets it spin a little smoother, reduces friction. Do you guys, a lot of teams will do cryo as well after they tumble it? Yeah, we've tried it a little bit on certain parts. You know, cryo is probably good on a part that you know that's going to fail. It's hard when you get cryo treatment because you can't tell what's been done. Yeah. But yeah, there's some, you know, DLC. We use DLC pins. The buckets, we do have them coated with a WPC coating. And, uh, we coat the cylinders and the piston rings. So friction, it's all about reduce the friction to get a little more power. Yeah, and that's you know the kind of the things when I was managing a team that we found, it was like, there isn't one thing that makes a huge difference. It's all the little pieces. You anodize this, you coat that, you tumble the gears, you do all that. When you add it all together, it equals the horsepower on the dyno or whatever. So a lot, a lot of love goes into these things. And also when we get around to the suspension, SDI doing their stuff, which is a, a, a relatively new company to some people, but the guys running that have been around forever. Dan Worley's been uh, in this sport for a long, long time. And I was asking about this. A lot of the coating you see on uh, the stuff that's green is a Thai nitrite. It's, it's pretty common. It's been around for quite a while. This is a new version of it that he says is a little more durable, doesn't flake off like those other ones would, and gives you a good balance between uh, reducing friction and also keeping your reliability. Uh, when you get to the front, some neat things on these hubs as well. So it's a stock hub that they turn down and then polish and then anodize. And then they actually do some laser engraving to put their logos and things on there. So um, I, I love seeing parts and pieces like this when a team will take the time to really make them the way they want them. They're running the Galfer wave rotors on here, Excel rims. Uh, as you work your way back, you'll see you know X-Trig clamps, uh, which we've seen a lot of, a lot of works connection parts and pieces, ODI bars and grips on here. Uh, these guys are, uh, you know, again, you'll see these radiator braces. That's huge. Um, just keeping protecting your radiators. These guys will a lot of times lower these radiators or extend them, make them bigger. So you want to protect that investment. And then um, hints and clutch components again, like I mentioned, we see a lot of that. And the pegs, these are the MetTech pegs that we see. And these guys take them, he said, and they'll move them back or down or up to kind of, uh, you know, suit whatever rider is. Kyle's a pretty tall guy, so maybe these are... Uh, drop down a little bit. Yeah, pretty um, much a standard. Kyle's pretty typical average test rider, so he does like a standard, standard height subframe, standard seat. Yeah, and that's pretty interesting. You know, a lot of riders will cut down the subframe, but like I mentioned, Kyle's pretty tall. Uh, I would have guessed he liked lowered pegs, but I guess he's running the stock ones. Uh, again, more works connection stuff there. Uh, the, the, the hubs that we talked about again in the rear, all the stock stuff, but they make them look trick. And then they use uh, sponsored by Bolt Motorcycle Hardware again. It's just a great way to be able to replace nuts and bolts that fall off. Uh, you can get those kits. They have a Yamaha track kit or a complete kit you can build a whole bike with. Um, so as you work your way around, you'll see FMF. And they got a really cool carbon guard on here. You got to run the guards on these pipes because they get so hot. These headers will burn right through your boots and pants. And a lot of GYTR parts. As a Yamaha team, obviously, uh, they want to use that as much as they can and it's great quality stuff as well. And then Costa Rica Unlimited, one of the guys involved with this team runs that organization, trips down through Costa Rica, trail riding, pretty cool deal. So a lot of different, a lot of different people involved in making this bike the way it is. And uh, as you can see by it pulling Kyle around, he's a big dude, this thing works well.